My name is Robin Debray, and this is my brother, Sandy Debray, and we are Debray Digital Works, a small two-person company now in uh, rural Manitoba, and uh, we do games and animations for a living, and if Sandy has anything else to add to that, I will welcome him. We're not actually brothers, he's my clone. <laughs> my lesser clone. I got the good <laughs> DNA. <laughs> Historically, we specialized in uh, flash games and animations. We started off just pure animation company, but now we do different types of games, Xbox games, flash games, whatever. Some of the clients we work for have been uh, Sesame Street, Major League Baseball, Fox Sports. Uh, we've done recently a bunch of things with the virology lab in Winnipeg. Our parents are both artists, so we kind of started doing art as kids. That's right. I always had an interest in computers for some reasons, and Sandy got really into cartooning. Yeah. As we got older, we could not make a living any other way. <laughs> so then we decided to uh, make multimedia together when Flash came out. When we just started, I remember us, we, we were doing animation, both of us, and we were totally wanting to do this. And it's like, I'll sell my soul to do this. I'll, I'll phone De Maurier Cigarettes and ask them if they'll give us $300 a month just to own our animations because I just want to do this. And we, it just didn't seem possible. We were doing like, it was early internet days and we were doing some websites and stuff, but it wasn't really a revenue thing. And then all of a sudden it started to work where we were breaking even every month and then all of a sudden we were making money and it's like, it was just amazing that that could, and I don't think it was necessarily j obviously just us, it was a timing thing. Our parents I think are very happy that we're working at all because <laughs> that wasn't always Given the case. Given their track record. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, th I think they're pretty happy. I mean, actually, our, our mom used to work with us. She used to animate for us. We used to have 14 employees, and uh, at one point we decided that it was more work than it was worth, and we either we were going to move to the city and become a company that had lots of employees or not, and we decided not. So that's when we, <laughs> we fired mom. <laughs> Which... Oh, good. Well, tell the viewers your idea for a game. Idea? Yeah. Elmo's yeah. World was a project that we did for Sesame Street that we're still recovering from. <laughs> <laughs> really? <Yeah>. Really? <laughs> and the goal was to take a, an existing CD-ROM, uh, convert all the artwork and programming to something that would go uh, back to CD-ROM uh, for new computers and go online at the same time. Um, Robin did the programming, or a large chunk of it, and I did a lot of the graphics. It's one of those jobs that sounds really glamorous when you say, yeah, we did this big job for Sesame Street, and it was a good job, a good contract, but... Uh, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. And, we uh, still have some <laughs> memories some of the Sesame Street project. <laughs> now we're, um, we're actually dedicating a year to doing our own content, and um, one of the target platforms will be Xbox. So what we're actually doing is Sandy has a cartoon strip, probarbenson.com, <laughs> taking that, that cartoon strip and an older animation series he did, and we're actually making games out of them. We're targeting very small throwaway games. So we want it to be funny and light and easy to play and easy to finish, but it's not supposed to be this two-week extravaganza. Okay, off you go, little fella. Uh, <laughs> Silly me, can I see up and down? We try not to be too evangelical about living in rural Manitoba, but um, it really works for us. Right. We really like it out here. We have a huge advantage because we have almost no expenses. We can experiment with things. We can take three months off and try something. Other companies are just not in a position to do that of our size. We also tend to get a lot of media attention because we live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and we use computers. That's the lights. <laughs> We're really good with computers. Honestly though, like we work with people in China and Siberia and India in Brazil, all over the place, and it really doesn't matter where you're located. That's just such a non-issue nowadays. Strangely, paintball is a game. We actually don't spend that much time paintballing. We spend way more time talking about how we're going to do the next round and what are we going to do. Okay, here's the idea. Three bullets, but there's a cache in the middle. And that's very similar to how we do games. Wouldn't it be cool <laughs> if, you know, we had this thing and it came? It's like, ah, oh, too hard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's a dumb that's, idea. That's the difference with the paintballs. You don't have that. You realize that's a lot of drawing, man. Yeah, Sorry, when you, when you come up with a good idea in paintball, you can actually go do it. But when you come up with a good idea with a game, you've got to convince yourself it's not a good idea or else you have to do it. So we spend about half an hour saying, no, nobody. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. I wouldn't want to do that. That's too hard.